Tonight, prescription for trouble. An elderly driver's wild pharmacy smash caught on camera. I thought we were having an earthquake or the roof was caving in. Flying into a supplement storm, but the league boss won't be rushed on the Asada findings. There is a process afoot at the moment, it's the correct process. And Tony Abbott goes full bottle on tax, promising to slash what companies pay. Very, very good news for the workers of Australia. First at five, ten news with Mal Walden. Good evening. First tonight, an 85-year-old man is the latest elderly driver to plough through a shop front, leaving chaos in his wake and narrowly missing customers. The man was picking up a prescription when police say he put his foot on the accelerator instead of the brake. Michael Bennett has the details. Staff and customers in a Nary Warren chemist this morning... Knows, which Franklin suggests could be good footwear for... Stephen Quartermain. No, hey. I, did I just change that script? Should be Alistair Clarkson. Now, sticking to the script, here's Stephen with... Thank you, Mal. Sport. As well as flogging his boots, Buddy says he wants to stay a hawk. More on that story later. Also, a pie star struggling to make it to September. Australia's opening dilemma as it reloads for the fourth Ashes test. And major ambition, Adam Scott prepares for the PGA Championship. Next quarter's coming up in 10 News. McDonald's protesters clash with police as the demolition team moves in at Tacoma. And the Premier talks up his link plan, but won't say what toll it'll take on motorists' hip pockets. Welcome back to 10 News and fresh security vision may shed new light on a fatal hooning accident at the weekend. A driver has been charged after a passenger fell from his car and died. Yasmin Payton joins us with an update from the newsroom. Yas, what uh, does this new vision show? Mal, the vision shows three vehicles pulling up at traffic lights on Ballarat so Road. Affecting the crab and line. Have a good night. Thanks, Emma. Coming up in 10 News, the medical marvel that could save Australians from a silent killer. A pet shop owner facing charges over a deadly python attack. And what lies beneath the disgusting danger lurking under London? Watching 10 News and world experts on prostate cancer have finally agreed on the best course of prevention for the disease. As Jade Vincent discovered, it's hoped the move will bring clarity to both patients and practitioners. 20,000 Australian men are diagnosed with prostate cancer in each the next year. Couple of days. I got the forecast in full, and we'll check all those weather charts in half an hour. Mal, well done, everybody. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. Coming up, veterans hit out over a fake digger's punishment and Melbourne ship shape for shore leave as a US destroyer drops anchor. 45 days at sea, just looking forward to get on dry land, uh, seeing a new country. You're watching 10 News and conflicting theories about how prostitute Jazzy O died have been aired at the trial of the man charged with her murder. Police claim she was murdered for money, but her killer says it was an accident. Alicia Morrison was in court. Stephen Constantinou claims Joanna Martin's death was a sex act. Quite an impression. Now, here's a hard act to follow. Stephen, with the latest in sport. Thank you, Mal. Andrew Dimitriou jets back into the bombers' crisis. Buddy says he wants to stay a hawk. A big problem for the Magpies as they look ahead to September. Adam Scott and Tiger talk up their PGA chances, and as Australia weighs up its opening options for the fourth test, a T20 match in the Caribbean leaves Ricky Ponting hot under the collar. Good evening, everyone. AFL boss Andrew Dimitriou has come out swinging after returning home to face the crisis over the Essendon Supplements saga. Under pressure for quick action, Dimitriou says the Commission and others have to be patient. Rob Waters with today's developments. As he flew over the Pacific, Andrew Dimitriou read the Asada report. In Darwin on Monday. That's all in sport, Mel.
Thank you, Stephen. Now, checking last night's Los Lotto results. And with no Division 1 winner, the prize pool jackpots. All the other prizes you can see there on your screen. Mike's back after the break with some developing weather details and blooming beautiful, a new dance show blossoms in Melbourne. Welcome back, and the four seasons are being brought to life in a new dance spectacular. Botanica is inspired by the patterns of That's nature. Awesome. This weather report is brought to you by Up and Go. With 10 vitamins and minerals, Up and Go is packed with nutrition. Well, the pattern of nature is not very pleasant tonight, judging by the look of Mike. Yeah, that's right, Mal. Good evening. I'm actually dancing just to keep warm. It is freezing down here at Heatherton in Melbourne southeast, and it is a wet old night tonight. Tonight's rain easing to showers tomorrow. We'll have a look at the radar right now, and there's quite a clump of rain cloud, as you can see. Con and then it's back to 16, 15s all next week. Stay dry. See you tomorrow night, Mal. And that's 10 news on this wet winter Wednesday night. Stay with us. The project at 6:30. Good night. <laughs>